I'm excited for what we're creating today. I'm sure you have no idea what we're creating today. Do Complete you? mystery. <laughs> We have so much to celebrate. And I thought, what better way to celebrate than with a crown? And so I'm gonna show you today how to make a crown. So here's what I'm going to use. Because to make a crown, I basically need to find one long piece of paper, and I'll show you how to cut out of this grocery bag. If you don't have a grocery bag, maybe find two pieces of paper and some tape, and you could just tape these two pieces of paper together. I might add more than one piece of tape if I were gonna make my crown this way. All we all need is one long piece of paper. So if you don't have a grocery bag, just find two pieces of paper and tape them together, and then you'll be in good shape to make the rest of this crown. Um, whatever scraps you have are fine. I'm gonna use some tissue paper today because I like the way that the tissue paper looks on this long piece of paper, but whatever scraps you have will work just fine. And another reason I like to make Crowns is because this is a pretty special book to me. I didn't write or illustrate this book. This book is called Radiant Child. It's by an author and an illustrator named Javaka Steptoe. And Javaka is just like us. He makes collages. He's a collage artist, just like you and just like me. And this is a biography. It's a book that tells the story of somebody's life. And this is the boy who grows up to be an artist, and well, he was also an artist as a kid, just like you, and his name is Jean-Michel Basquiat. And so Javaka is an artist who does collage. Jean-Michel is an artist who does collage, and so are we. And one of the things that Jean-Michel, the artist, does a lot of in his artwork is makes crowns. And that's because he thinks they're special and he likes to draw them near people in his artwork um, to show that they are important to him. That's what we are. We are famous and talented collage artists. So this book inspired this crown also. Awesome. I think what you can see, let me do it like this. This is a collage just like we've done on pieces of paper before, I've just cut it into this funny shape with some triangles cut out. You can add letters to your crown or you can design it any way that you want. I'm gonna get out my bag. So if you have two pieces of paper, maybe you're working on taping those together to make one long piece of paper. If you have a bag, here's how I'm gonna do it. If your bag has handles like this one, I'm gonna just very gently tear off these handles. I don't wanna rip too hard because I might get a hole in this bag. But you know what I'm also gonna do with these handles is save them because these are pretty good scraps to use in some other collage. But I'm gonna take these off here. All right, so now I've got this big brown bag. All right, I'm gonna take my scissors, just like we've done before. I'm gonna make sure that my scissors are on both sides of the bag. And I'm gonna cut a line all the way through the bag. So I'm gonna make sure my scissors are through both sides and then I'm gonna make one long cut. It might not be a perfectly straight line, but that's okay. The important thing is to cut it in two pieces. So I'm gonna set this part to the side and I'll find something to do with it. I just need this piece left that we cut. I'm gonna make one more snip through 
this bag through the, the short side, right? We've got one long side. We're almost getting to one long piece of paper. I'm gonna make one snip up the short side. And when I do that, I can do this anywhere, anywhere in that big circle. And when I do that and unwrap it, look, it doesn't even fit into my camera for you. I've just made myself one really, 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 really long piece of paper. Let me go back to these um, pieces of paper I taped together. Let me add a little bit more tape here. You might want to take your scissors and cut this piece of paper in half. Now you've made one long piece of paper with your two pieces of paper. And I'm gonna cut it into two strips. And now, actually, once I've done that, I can make two crowns. I'm gonna take my long piece of paper, I'm gonna put it behind my head, like I'm lying on a pillow. I'm gonna take one hand, and wrap it around and just keep my finger there. And then I'm gonna take my other hand and wrap it around and kind of hold down where both of those ends end up. See how I've got this extra piece here? I know that I can take off or trim or cut this, this piece. And then I'm just going to snip extra part and wrap it yeah. You can see where it's overlapping. I'm not trying too hard to make it exactly like this. That's too tricky. So we can overlap a little bit. Now my long piece of paper is a little bit shorter. Now I'm ready to start cutting some of these triangles from one side. So I'm gonna take my long piece of paper and I'm gonna go on one of the long sides. It doesn't matter which one. And to cut triangles, it's pretty fun. It's just one snip in a diagonal direction and another snip in a diagonal direction. So I'm gonna cut out a bunch of triangles all along the long side of my crown. Because this is a long piece of paper, it takes a lot of little triangles out of here. When I look at that piece of paper the other way, just flip it over or flip it around. Now those triangles are on the top. This is the part that will point up towards the ceiling. And this is the part that will be closer to my forehead, to my eyes. I think you can tell what happens next. You can just start to collage whatever designs or patterns you'd like on the front of your crown. So I'm gonna use tissue paper to start collaging some designs and patterns onto my crown. But you can design your crown however you want. Maybe you wanna do some collaging or some coloring, uh, whatever, whatever you like, because you are the artist. But I like tissue paper and I'll show you a little bit of why. It's so thin and so I can tear it easily. I like to tear some scraps and then just glue them on. Because my tissue paper is so thin, I'm gonna just scribble my glue stick on an area of my crown and then put the tissue paper on top of that. This will work too if you have regular scraps, not just for tissue paper. I do like to put it on the crown and then stick the tissue paper on. And here, I've got a little extra. I'm just gonna peel it up a little bit and put a little more glue down and then just rub a little in. This might take a while. So this might be a project that you finish later, um, but that's okay. You can work as long as you need to on your crown. Once the glue is dry a little bit, if you flip over your crown, you can see where 
the paper or the scrap is coming off of that triangle. So then I can just take my scissors and snip it off. Just give it a little haircut right here. I'm just cutting off this extra, these extra bits of paper. But when I look again, it looks like I cut out a piece of paper or this tissue paper in the exact shape of my crown triangle, but it wasn't really that hard to do. I didn't have to guess and cut and guess and cut. I'm gonna hold my crown on my head because my little pin is gone, but I'm gonna have to finish up this one too because this one takes a little bit longer, but thank you for hanging out and for being here. Now, if you like that video, make sure you hit the like button to help us grow the YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button to make sure that you get notified for future videos. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.